All right, the judge is delivering the final instructions to jurors in the Mark Keith Lloyd trial after a full morning of closings. We heard from the prosecution, the defense, and then the prosecution again as they sought to hammer home their case that Mark Keith Lloyd is guilty of murdering his ex-girlfriend, Sade Nixon, murdering their unborn child, and then attempting to kill uh, her brother. Uh, he also faces attempted felony murder charges for uh, Dixon's uh, brother and other brother and mother. So now it will be up to the jury to decide was this premeditated or was this, as the defense says, self-defense, a crime of passion. Let's bring our guest back in right now to break this all down. Silva Megerdichian, criminal defense attorney, joining me live via Skype. Now, uh, Silva, you said you thought the uh, prosecution did a pretty effective job of wrapping this all up in those final minutes. It, it certainly did. You know, Stacey, it was incredible to me how he did a great job. I kept on writing in my notes, repetitive theme, repetitive theme. The software engineer, Ron the brother, almost kind of depicting him as the hero, wanting to de-escalate what was going on versus the convicted felon who came with two guns and trying to paint him as two guns blazing. Um, I thought the theme was extremely powerful, um, but he has the evidence on his side. He has the facts on his side. Um, he does have a little bit, I think, of an uphill battle when it comes to premeditation. I think the defense brought up a lot of very strong points. I, you know, he used what he had in order to try to get his client off. I don't know if all of his themes were very effective, but um, I think he might have, I think the premeditation could go either way in this case. Yeah, I mean, one uh, strong point on the prosecution side, I thought, was that he said, okay, maybe he didn't plan the first shot, but what about the rest of the shots? I mean, Sade Dixon was shot eight times. Why didn't he stop pulling the trigger? And he did a great job also on the minutia. He not only said eight times, but he said, you know, squeezed his finger, which mm -hmm. does take a deliberate pulse. And Stacey, you're absolutely right. You know, when he says effectively, bang, 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 like shooting, shooting, shooting. It shows seconds of thought in the defendant's mind and overkill. I mean, just, it, it really does. It was a very effective argument in front of a jury to show you had all of this opportunity. If you were so in fear, you needed eight shots to defend yourself. So the prosecution, again, illustratively did a beautiful job at that. I want to talk about something else that's played a big part in this trial, and that's the text messages between the defendant and Sade Nixon. I mean, one of sort of the biggest red flags here for defense, a big, uh, you know, asset for prosecutors is this text message that Lloyd sent to Dixon minutes after he left after the shooting that December night saying, don't know if you're going to make it, hope you don't told you don't play with me and you went and got a gun on me instead. Now, he tried to explain that away as a typo, saying that he meant to write, hope you do make it, but what is your take on that and is this evidence that he uh, meant to harm her? I thought that was one of the weakest parts, Stacy, of the defense argument when he said a typo. That's hard to believe. For me as a defense attorney, it's easier to believe he was in the heat of passion, he left, you know, in other words, you know, going to a self-defense argument, you see, you pulled a gun on me. Why'd you do that? Um, still showing heat of passion, still showing anger. I, I don't think it was believable in front of a jury to say this man made a typo of don't. Um, that I thought was a little bit of an unreasonable argument. You know, uh, such a big part of this case, and this is not all known to the jurors, is that this is just murder trial one for the defendant because he is charged with murdering this police officer, Lieutenant uh, Deborah Clayton, when she confronted him at the Walmart. Now, the jurors do know that he shot her. They did see video of her fleeing with him holding the gun. Yes, this murder case is about Sade Dixon uh, and the attempted murder of her family members, but what sort of influence, how does this sway jurors to know that he also had the gall to fire at a police officer who was trying to apprehend him after he had been on the run for weeks? You know, that was another thing I thought the prosecution did extremely effectively. 
this man is not likable, the defendant in front of a jury. And the fact that, you know, again, the defense wanted to say he wanted to turn himself in. But quite frankly, the prosecution did a good job showing the opposite effect. You know, this officer was doing her job. There did not seem to be a perceived threat to him. And they don't need to say that the officer died. It's enough to show that this man, who the defense is trying to say wanted to turn himself in, but instead tried to shoot eight times to the officer, this all has a huge effect. Think about it, Stacy. calling the defendant a convicted felon, saying that the defendant, oh, you wanted to turn yourself in? Why shoot at officers? And did a great job saying, why not go to another police department? And I thought the death knell, why are you purchasing supplies to remain a fugitive? I just, again, he turned the defense's argument on its head. Yeah, and, and speaking of that period in which he was a fugitive nearly a month on the run, I mean, that doesn't really help him too much either. It's so true. I mean, Cece, it's exactly, you know, jurors like common sense arguments. If it walks like a duck and it quacks like a duck and it looks like a duck, it's a duck. And we have that evidence here. The defense had to rely on intention here as much as they could. This man didn't intend to kill. This man didn't even want to kill. He was put in this situation. But if it was true self-defense, he would not have run for a month. And he wouldn't have taken out guns blazing at an officer. The common sense argument lies with the prosecution. Uh, all good points there, Silva. Well, uh, I am seeing a note that the juror is uh, the jury rather is now officially deliberating in this case. Obviously, we'll be keeping a close watch. In the meantime, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll have much more on this trial and the other big trial out of Florida that we have been following. Stay with us. We'll be right back after this.